Hello and welcome guys. So let's get started. In previous video, I have already given the brief introduction of project. Okay. So if you guys are new to this video, then I recommend you to watch the introduction video. There I have explained everything, how we are going to proceed step by step. So here we are going to make a fruit and vegetable image recognition system, which will train on 36 classes of image. Okay. In which we have uh, 10 classes of fruits and 26 classes of vegetable. Okay. So this is our data set. So first of all, we have to download this data set. So this link I have already provided in description and download this data set from here. Okay. After downloading, if you, if you don't have Kaggle account, then first of all, create Kaggle account. Okay. Create Kaggle account and go to this link and download this data set. Okay. After downloading this data set, you will get these three folder test train and validation. Okay. If you go here, then you can also see that this data set contains three folder train test and validation train folder having 100 image test having 10 image each validation having 10 image each. Okay, so this is our test folder. So let's open this. So in test folder, we have this 36 classes of fruits and vegetable in Apple. We have this uh, this this is the image of Apple. So similarly, we have uh, banana. This is all the image of banana. This is bell pepper image. Similarly, we have cabbage. These things corn. We have a lot of image. Okay. So this is our test image. Similarly, we have this train image. Okay. This is a train image. We have hundred images of apple okay similarly we have uh, image of corn grabs image we have a lot of image okay so this is our data set now let's talk about what id we need so you can use jupyter notebook or you can use google collab if you are going to use jupyter notebook then you need all the library to be installed in your pc okay I don't want these things so I'm going to use Google Collab okay in Google Collab we don't need any library to be installed okay so let's type here Google Collab okay and let's go here let's open this and just click here new notebook okay so it's opening so we got our notebook okay let's rename here and change it to training training fruit vegetable dot ipynb okay so you got it this this thing so here you will write all the code if you need any in between if you need any heading or text then you can just click here text and you can push it to the top okay so you can write anything here like if you need some heading and you can write importing data set something like this okay press shift enter and you will get here okay so our id is ready okay before writing code we need our data set because overall we are going to perform training on data set so we need our data set so we have to add we have to add the data set here okay if you are going to do like this if you are going to directly go here and upload the data set it's become very complicated process because you have to upload it will not upload this these things it will take a lot of time okay and if in between you, your internet connection gone and something error happens then you have to upload again the data set okay so don't try to I don't recommend you to upload a very large data set by from here. Okay, don't upload from here. So what we are going to do here, we are going to use this Google Drive. Okay, we are going to connect this Google Collab with Google Drive. So to connect Google Collab with Google Drive, we need that data set to be in Google Drive. Okay, so let's go to Google Drive. Let's go to Drive. Yeah, here and log in with your account okay so this is my account just go here and just do a folder upload okay 
just do a folder upload and just go here and select these things select this this and this this complete thing and upload here after doing this you will get something like this as i already created because i don't want to waste time so i already created one separate folder here fruit and vegetable recognition system in which i have these things validation trend test this okay this folder i already uploaded okay so you can upload this directly okay from here okay so just go here and create a separate folder fruit uh, vegetable recognition and just move this to that folder and just upload this folder okay so i already uploaded a fruits ve vegetable recognition folder here so i am going to use this folder in google collab okay so you have to just click here go and click here this mount drive okay when you click here mount drive then it will show you a pop up connecting to google drive will permit code executed in this notebook to modify file in your google drive until access is otherwise revoked okay so let's go here and click on connect to google drive okay so it's showing here mounting google drive okay so google drive is mounting it will take a little bit time okay so it's done mounting is done okay uh, sometimes it will uh, display a piece of code then you have to run that piece of code to connect because i have already connected it with google drive so it's not showing here like uh, i already if you go here and this one yeah this one if i open this file and you will see this piece of code when you click here when you go and click here this uh, this option when you click here mount google drive then this will show it this piece of code this piece of code automatically appear here just run this uh, piece of code then it will show that device drive already mounted at this location okay okay so this you have to do only one time okay there is no need to repeat it if you done one time mounting then you don't need to repeat this process okay so mounting is done after mounting is done we get this folder here drive and in drive folder if you go inside drive you have my drive and in my drive you have this folder this fruit vegetable recognition folder in which you have train test validation okay this thing you have in this so you can directly copy from here the copy the path from here and use in, the, in your code later okay so this is the beauty of uh, this google collab so we have already imported our data set so that's all for this video in this video we have understand about the data set this fruits and vegetable image recognition data set which is having 36 directory and now after downloading this data set what we have to do we have to upload that folder here in google drive okay and then what we have to do just go and create a ipynb file in google collab and just mount this drive so that you can access you can connect google drive with google collab and access all the folders in google drive from here okay and access these folder okay after this we got our data set okay now we are ready to write our code okay so that's all we have done in this video in next video we are going to import libraries and we are also going to execute training image pre-processing and test image pre-processing okay so thank you guys thanks a lot for watching this video